Hi, I'm Yaffa Epstein, and I've been teaching at the Collegiate June Immersion Program here at Jerisha. And um, this week's parsha is parsha Vizot Bracha, which is the conclusion of the entire Torah. We're told in this parsha about the death of Moshe, and specifically, we're told about Moshe dying in Pasuk Hay of Perak Lamedalit. We're told. That Moshe, the servant of God, died there in the land of Moab. Al pi Adonai is an interesting phrase. It seems to be through the mouth of God in some way. And the Eben Ezra here comments specifically on the word Eved Hashem. What does it mean that Moshe was Eved Hashem? Why do we say that in his death that he's Eved Hashem, that he's the servant of God? And the Eben Ezra tells us even when Moshe died, that he did what God commanded him like a servant. That Moshe's great, one of Moshe's greatness, greatest things, one of, a part of his greatness was in that even in his death, Moshe acted like a servant of God and did as God commanded. And it's a, it's a beautiful concept to think about Moshe as this true Ebed, as this true servant. But what's interesting is that the rabbis seem to conceive of Moshe's death a little bit differently than the Ibn Ezra is describing here. And there's a, another pasuk earlier in Sefer Dvarim, in Parshat HaAzinu, that talks about Moshe dying. And it says there it's God's command to Moshe to go up to the mountain and to die. And, um, and as God is commanding Moshe to do this, exactly as the Ibn Ezra is referring to, right, that when God commanded him, Moshe did what, what God said. He went up to the mountain and he died. And the rabbis conceive it a little differently. They tell us in Sifre Dvarim, in Midrash Halacha on Dvarim, um, in Parshat HaZinu, and they, and they describe the conversation between God and Moshe as God is commanding him to die. So basically, God is saying, Moshe, you have to die. And Moshe says, um, God, why are you killing me? Let's think about this for a second, God. Let, let's, let's, take, let's, let's think about this. Uh, and see if this is really the best thing for you, right? Isn't it better that the people say, oh, Moshe is great from actually um, seeing me rather than just hearing about me? In other words, Moshe says to God, listen, God, I've been the leader of the people for the last 40 years. Don't you think it's a good idea for you to keep me around? It'll be better for you. They'll listen to you more if I'm around. And he goes through all the things that Moshe was there to do, and right, even though um, right, even though God performed them, right, it's interesting what he lists here. He lists taking them out of Egypt and splitting the sea and bringing them the mountain. These are all things that God is said to have done. But here Moshe, or the rabbis, conceive of Moshe saying to God, look what I did, right? Even though they're things that God actually did uh, God's self, Moshe is saying, I was there to do all of these miracles that you, uh, that you wanted for the people. So it's better. It's better to, for the people to have me around rather than, uh, rather than hear about me, right? And God says, God responds to Moshe and says, Amar lo, kalech Moshe, quiet. Gzerahim milfanai. You know what, Moshe? Stop talking. It's, it's a gzer from me, right? Shehi shaveh bechol adam. That is equal to all people. All people need to die, Moshe, right? And um, the rabbis conceive of this conversation, this amazing conversation between uh, Moshe and Akash Baruch Hu, Right? Why should I die? Moshe asks. I did all these amazing things, and more than that, it's good for the people. And God's response is, listen, you're a human being like everyone else. And then what's interesting here is the Midrash continues and says that the, the Malach, Malachi Asherit, the angels get involved in this conversation. It's not just God and Moshe having this conversation, but then the angels come to God and they say, God, right, what are you thinking? Why did the first person ever die? So you're telling Moshe that the reason why he dies is because he's a human. But why did the human, first human ever die? The first human died, right? She, right? Amar lahem, God responds, Shalom asa pikudah, he didn't do my commandments, right? And we will find out they stayed before of him. Bahari Moshe asa pikudacha, right? But Moshe did do what you wanted, God, right? So, in other words, God, you told Moshe that the reason why he has to die is because, uh, because he's a human being. But the only reason why human beings have to die is because they sin in Moshe. He didn't sin, the angels say. It's a pretty good argument on the angels' side, right? Amar lahem, gzerahi milfanai. Just shush. Again, the same thing that he says to Moshe, be quiet. He says to the angels, listen, I'm God and I decide, right? The Cholada, everyone is the same. And it, it's, there's a very, very beautiful message, I think, in this Midrash. First of all, 
you know, Ibn Ezra imagines Moshe as being this perfect, subservient, right, Evet Hashem, that whatever God says, Moshe did. And the, the rabbis here conceive of him differently. They think, no, 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 Moshe stood up for himself. Moshe fought for himself. And I think it's interesting because we don't see Moshe fight for himself, right? So, and certainly, the Zodabarcha, we don't, we don't really see this fight. And the rabbis are like, wait a second, you're going to die when you let these people like, stick up for yourself, say something. And they, and they conceive of Moshe, what they perhaps would have said, right? Moshe's saying, listen, I did something here for these people, and it's good for the people to have me around. And God's saying, you know what, Moshe Rabbeinu, you are the greatest. You are perhaps the greatest servant I've ever had, but you're also a human being. And I think there's a lot of beauty here, perhaps, that we can take for ourselves, even in our major accomplishments, and, 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 even, in our, um, and even in our moments of, of greatness, that we're still human beings. There's, there's a piece of Anava here, and Moshe being the most humble of all people, right? To think about, there's a moment here where God says, you're just a person, you're just a person, you're going to have to die like everyone else. And there are certain things that we have in this world that are limitations that, 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 that keep us human. And, and it's important to remember, it's important to remember that we're human beings at the end of the day, and, then, and not in a negative way, but that just, just like Moshe, who was the greatest of all, had to die, we too are human beings, and, and we're able to accomplish amazing things, and we're also able, um, and we also are limited um, in certain ways. So perhaps that's a message we could take away for uh, Vizor Bracha. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom.